Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm showing you how to do split screen on the new iPad Air 2. And to do this, um, the first thing you need to do is make sure you are running the iOS 9 uh, software. Without that, you will not be able to do split screen. So, let me show you how to check first to make sure you're on the right operating system. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to general. And then we're going to go to about. And then come all the way down to version and make sure you are on a 9 or higher. So right now we're on 9.1, so we're good. If you do not have 9, maybe you're on 8.4 or one of the lower updates, the first thing you need to do is go tap on general again, go to software update, and you should have an update in here that um, is prompting you to update to iOS 9. So that's the first thing you're going to have to do. If not, you're not going to be able to do split screen. Now, for those of you that have split screen, let's or on the right operating system, let's move forward. So there are only a handful of apps that are compatible with split screen right now. It does not work with all apps. Um, so to open up split screen, you need to launch an app that is compatible. So let's go to Safari, which is one of the main apps that is compatible. And what you're going to do is you're going to swipe. You're going to start at the home button right here and swipe to your left. And that will bring up the list of all compatible apps. So calendar, mail, clock, contacts, FaceTime, a lot of the general stuff, Hulu, which is one of the really cool apps that is compatible. Uh, Netflix is not supported yet, but uh, support should be coming soon. Um, and just to pause really quick and show you, um, this is really cool because you can actually watch a video and continue to browse the internet. Let's go ahead and turn that down so it's not too loud. There we go, that'll work. So I can watch this video and continue to browse the internet. Oh, here we go. One more time. Oh, a little tricky. So you do want to drag it to the center and you do that, there's a line basically right here. And if we put our finger on that line and drag it to the left, we can basically center the screen out so that I could continue to watch Hulu while I'm over here continuing to browse the internet. So this is one of the really cool things about it is that you can continue to do other things while you're watching a video. Now, um, split screen is tricky because let's say right now I'm in Safari and I want to continue to watch this video but I want to switch to a different app. So you can't switch from the left side. If you try to switch, um, the way you switch is by swiping down from the top. Uh, it doesn't work. So what you're going to have to do is close or hit the home button, go back to your home screen and open Hulu first because you need Hulu to be the app on the left side because the left side is the one that you can't, you can't change. Now I'm going to swipe over and now I'm going to pick a different app. So let's say I want to FaceTime my friend. So now I can open up FaceTime and continue to have my video play. Now it, it, the iPad is smart, so you can't have two video features going at the same time. So FaceTime wasn't the best one to pick. So let's do like Messenger, for example. So if I want to switch the app, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to swipe down and that will take me back to my list of all the compatible apps. So a popular one would be Messages. And now I can uh, focus on messages while I'm watching Hulu. Now again, Hulu is tricky because if, it, if the screen is not centered, so half and half, then the video will continue to pause as you see right now. So I have to swipe over and then I have to drag the bar to the center. And if I do that, now it will continue to play while I'm in Messenger or I can swipe down and pick something different. Maybe you want to go to your mail and, and check your emails, for example. Now I can continue to comfortably check emails and the video will continue to play. Now one of the flaws, I would say, of split screen is that it doesn't allow you to rotate like this and have the video at the top and have like a website or your other thing at the bottom. It only supports the left and right and um, I don't really like that but I'm happy that split screen is here so I'm not going to complain about it. I'm sure at some point Apple will fix that. But really cool to be able to just swipe and, and basically do multiple things at once which is a feature I've been asking for for a very long time. So um, this is it guys. This is um, 
split screen. Now one thing you're going to notice here is that YouTube is not in this list, which is a little frustrating. Okay. Now I have a video. You should definitely go find it and it is, it will show you how to actually watch a YouTube video in split screen because the YouTube app is not compatible. So make sure you check out that video. That's going to show you the little trick I found out that will allow you to watch YouTube videos and do other things at the same time. So anyway, guys, I hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to H2 Tech videos and keep watching for more uh, awesome tech stuff. All right. Have a good one.